I think that's one of the big things that I've always talked a lot about with end phase. Is just In California, during certain times of the summer, it's significant money. We're talking yeah. hundreds of dollars a week. Where do you feel the 5P compared to the previous 10T, how it really differentiates itself? I mean... Yeah, very cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm intrigued. I mean, we were talking a little off camera, but I definitely want to dive in a little more about the 5P. That's a big, big announcement. Obviously, the, the 7 Series inverters, the IQ7s, were hugely popular. The IQ8s have been incredibly popular up to this point. Um, I, I'm excited to hear a little bit about some of the, and we'll see how much we can talk about it, but the higher performance versions as well, especially yeah. for some of those particular modules out there yeah. that are maybe high voltage or, you know, there isn't really a sweet spot yet today where you could take, for example, like an REC Pure R panel. What do you pair it with? Yeah. So, you know, excited to kind of hear more about that. Um, but on the topic of the 5P, let's kind of start there because sure. that was what we were talking about originally. Where do you feel the 5P compared to the previous 10T, how it really differentiates itself? I mean, we can go over quick specs of it as well. I mean, obviously it's more power, not the same storage, but it's a smaller size. So you can stack multiple together. Um, maybe kind of talk through a little bit of that about that for us here. Yeah, you know, I think uh, a lot of exciting things with the 5P. We've been really excited about this. You know, from an installer perspective, you know, uh, some of the more exciting things are, um, you know, the power, which you were talking about, which mm -hmm. allows you to start up big appliances, heavy loads, right? So HVAC systems, pool pumps you can now like really back up your home and start these heavy appliances where you might not have been able to do that because of power limitations with previous generations, sure. right? Um, we've also extended the warranty. So all of our batteries now have 15 year warranties, which industry leading That's um, awesome. and yeah. super exciting. You know, it's just a, a level of confidence we have in our products. Um, and, uh, you know, it allows our installers to sort of confidently install these products um, and, and provide homeowners a really great experience so you know I think there's a lot of excitement there um, it's also you know an incredibly sophisticated battery you know it's got our micro inverters built into it um, you know that gives you a level of reliability that other batteries don't have which might have more of a centralized inverter framework you know we have six micro inverters that are plugged into the uh, to the 5p one of those micro inverters goes down you're still operating that battery at you know 90 plus percent capacity so there's a, uh, a re reliability excitement there um, uh, in addition to, you know, sort of the power developments that we've been able to make. So a lot yeah. of exciting stuff. I think that's one of the big things that I've always talked a lot about with Enphase is just the level of redundancy yes. measure, right? Especially if you're using it for a lot of our clientele in southern parts of Florida, coastal Texas regions, area where hurricanes are much more common. Could also be in California where maybe there's blackouts or whatever the concern may be about when you're really using the battery for backup purposes. Yep making sure there's adequate redundancies in place. You know, yeah. if one, one part of the battery, or I should even say the, the Enphase IQ platform as a whole, right, an inverter fails, well, you've lost one panel. Not great, but it's better than one central point of failure. Just a quick word from our sponsor, Savant Power and the Savant Energy Management System. If you're considering an investment in a solar plus storage system, then you're gonna to wanna to have maximum visibility and control of how much energy you're harvesting how much energy you're storing, and how that energy is being distributed within the home. The new Savant power system allows you to dynamically control which circuits are on and which circuits are off depending on battery state of charge, allowing you to extend your battery running time during a blackout. The system also includes an integrated electric vehicle charger, allowing you to charge directly from solar or from the grid or a combination of both. So if you'd like to learn more information, you can visit the Savant Power website or click the link in the description below so that you can get in touch with an installer right away. Yeah, so Andy, one of the things that is pretty common, obviously, with battery backup is not just the ability to have it for emergencies, blackouts, brownouts, whatever it may be, but now with NEM3 in California and other utilities probably inevitably following suit in some way, how are we finding or how are we seeing with Enphase battery products the ability to use that as a, you know, time of use scenario or just complying with NEM3 in general? Yeah, it, it, it's, a, it's a great topic. You know, we're super excited about the capabilities of our batteries, um, you know, to, to do, you know, sort of arbitrage, rate arbitrage, right? So, you know, 
certain times a day, power is more valuable. You can either self-consume that power with your battery or you can send it back to the grid and, and be compensated for that, right? And so, you know, we're now offering a product with our 5P where you don't need a system controller. So the system controller, uh, just for your audience, um, you know, allows you to microgrid. Uh, and, and have a backup, um, you know, a sanctioned backup on your home um, and, and cuts you off from the grid during an outage, right? Yeah. So you eliminate that, you're, you're reducing the cost of the overall system, and now you just have the battery, some communications equipment, and the solar. And so you're essentially creating just a home energy management where you're using the cheapest available elect electron possible, whether that's from the grid or from your battery, or you're sending that power back to the grid to be compensated for it. In California, during certain times of the summer, it's significant money. We're talking yeah. hundreds of dollars a week you could be making. I mean, so, you know, that's real cash. That's that's can give you a payback period of up as low as five years on your entire solar and battery system. Yeah, not to mention that after that, you... You own it, you know, free yeah. and clear. You know, now it's, it's free and clear. Huge, huge value. Yeah, there's huge value there, um, and, and so you know, we're super excited about that. And, and uh, you know, I, I think California is sort of the first domino to fall, um, but we are expecting it in other places. But we think there's a really great case to be made about the value uh, of solar and battery systems, and, and you know, we think there's a, an excellent future for these products going forward. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about that as well, because for the years that I've been in solar now, it's my eighth year, when I first got started, a lot of what we did was purely backup systems. And, and I think the beautiful thing about a solar system with battery now is you can give yourself the ability to do both, right, depending on what your needs are. But maybe you live in an area, too, where power outages are just not as common, but utility costs are exponentially higher or whatever it may be. So I'm a little curious as well. So if we were to nix the controller from the system, you're able to use it from an energy management perspective. But if there was an outage, you don't have any means of self-contained microgrid type of... That's right. Okay. That's right. That's right. And, you know, I, we've seen it in other countries in particular, right? In Germany, for example, um, you know, you don't install a solar energy system without a battery in the entire country of Germany. It's, it would be very rare. Hmm. Um, and it's for this exact reason. Power prices are so high that people are trying to self-consume as much as they possibly can. They're generating their solar energy. They're storing what they're not using, and then they're using that when they need the power, right? And so, you know, it's there's a huge, real value proposition there for just getting the cheapest electron possible into your house, right? So, you know, we're sort of now seeing that pop up in more sophisticated markets in the United States. Hawaii was one of the first, California now. Um, but, you know, utility rates aren't going to go down. Um, they're only going up uh, is what we anticipate. So I think they're, we're going to see a lot more of this action across the country. Yeah, it makes sense. Totally makes sense. Yeah, a lot of great things happening, obviously, at Enphase. Really excited to see how, as some of these, these products really start coming to market, start getting out there, the 5P, excited to see how that plays out in practice and how you integrate in the EV chargers and eventually bi-directional charging, things of that sort, to really build out that Enphase energy system like you talked about a lot more so yeah very cool yeah a lot to look forward to and i think you know we're going to have you know a, a ton of product launches this year both here in the u.s and and uh abroad internationally and, and and then some big ones next year you know including our hope to launch the bi-directional um ev charger um which can provide you know your car can power your home incredible concept yeah. you all have yeah. covered it a lot on your channels we have um and we're super excited about that um so do we have a we have a loose time time frame for that one you know, or we, anything we've we can we've said end of last year and we're continuing yeah. to say end of, or excuse me end of next year 2024 yeah, 2020, yeah and we continue to say that um, um so we're pushing towards that date um you know i think there's a big demand for something like this in the market um, and it just is going to make the Enphase energy system, you know, the home energy management system, that much more sophisticated. It's yeah. really exciting. Yeah. Very cool. Do we have a, uh, there's been a little bit of even recently changes in the EV charging world as there's this fight to kind of standardize yeah. charging adapters, things of that. Anything really that Enphase has identified as far as like what type of, you know, is it is it Chadmo? Is it CCS? Is it uh, I'm blanking on the other? Uh, I guess Tesla's adapters kind of become a yeah uh, NA NCS or things something like that. We we have we have recently announced that we are going to meet the latest industry standards where our products will meet um, 
the, you know, I can't remember the There's so many different the, lighters. The acronyms kill <laughs> yeah. me, but yeah. the, the standard, I believe, is going to be that Tesla charger plug-in. Yeah. And, and we are going to have our products that can that can meet that. Very um, cool. You know, so, you know, we want to make sure we're staying with, you know, what the market's demanding and, um, you know, what auto manufacturers are moving towards. We're working with big auto manufacturers, you know. Uh, we're having great conversations with a lot of big um, OEMs and, you know, building products that are going to work for consumers. And, and so, yeah, we, we have said that we're going to um, be able to meet those standards. And, uh, you know, I think it's just an incredibly exciting time, you know, in the EV space. All right. I hope you're getting some great value from today's video content. Now, if you would like to have your product or your business or technology featured on the Solar Surge channel, feel free to reach out to us at the link below so you can set up a call with our media team to talk about your marketing goals and how Solar Surge can help you get there. Solar Surge is the leading online community in the U.S. residential solar and energy storage space. And so if you'd like to get your product, business, or technology in front of our audience, we can help you do that. Uh, again, feel free to reach out to our media team at the link below or email media at solarsurge.net.